Meeting in playoffs for the second straight year. First quarter, Bishop Vargas launches it downfield. Looking for Jay Sean rushing. It's intercepted by Jay Sean Warren. St. Francis with their second pick of the night. And the Knights turn that turnover yes. into points. David Kaiser airs it out downfield. Finds a wide open Jumani Russell for the touchdown. Now the extra point is no good. St. Francis gets on the board first up 6-0. Now the ensuing kickoff. The Irish respond in a big way. Tayshawn Johnson downfield. Mm. Breaks yeah, one tackle, turns on the wheels. He's got a blocker or two, makes his way down the sideline and into the end zone for the score. Central up one after the made PAT. Now Knights in some trouble, they looking come. to punt it away in their mm. own end zone. It's blocked. Gio DeSantis gets a hand on it for the safety. Central defense coming up huge. Now still in the first quarter, Vargas gives it to Prentice. Reason over. Reason over does what he does best, just dodging everybody, leaving players in Ooh. the dust. Wide open field in front of him takes it in for the score. 16-6 Central on top. Central Catholic dominates, earning the 50-6 win to advance to the region semifinals. I think, you know, great preparation by Coach Brown and the defensive staff and great execution by the kids. They were locked in. You know, there were some things we gave up in the first time we played them. We gave up 20 points. And um, they really, they, they didn't like that. So they really prepared really hard and the kids executed great, great tackling tonight, mm -hmm. which coming off a, a two game, one game in a month is, that's something you worry about, but just did a really good job of getting pressure and uh, pressure on their offense and it created some opportunity for us. Our defense, they stay in film long after practice, long after practice, so we know they always going to be ready every game. That's the whole key. You know, you, this time of year you better love preparing, love practicing. Uh, otherwise, the playing is not going to go so well. And even though it's a different year, you know, it's going on around, you know, whatever round it is in the playoffs. I can't even keep track of it with having buys and things like that. But we're going to get to face a good Avon Lake team next year. We're going to do it on our home field and hopefully move on to the Elite Eight. For more from that battle on Cherry Street, here's Mason Lowry and John Gibson.